Looks like a Chinese Jiangwei class cruiser with a North Korean destroyer escort. Events in the Yellow Sea took a turn for the worse today when North Korean and Chinese forces blockaded and boarded a Japanese cargo ship. The North Korean government released no official statement, and their ambassador remained out of contact. While at the UN, Chinese Ambassador Long Dan urged the US and her longtime Japanese allies to remain calm, calling the blockades a legitimate response to what the rest of Asia views as a possible remilitarization of Japan. This blockade is an act of war. The NSC is working on a formal response, and they've ordered the USS Walsh to close at flank speed. The Walsh is the most advanced spy ship in history. My best man will be on board. What do you know? Chinese and North Korean ships working together again. It's what we expected. That's a 056 prototype, Chinese. Exactly. How are your sea legs? I haven't lost them. Good. Because the 056 prototype isn't the only new fish in the pond. Admiral Toshiro Otomo, head of Japan's newly formed Information Self-Defense Force, had this to say. This is another distressing attempt by China and North Korea to further depress our faltering economy. The ISDF and Japan appeal to our allies for the military support promised us under the post-war constitution of 1946. The fact remains that in the eyes of many in Asia, the ISDF itself is a violation of the post-war constitution prohibiting Japan from maintaining a military force capable of striking beyond its borders. In Asia, the memories of Imperial Japan are still fresh. Fisher, an American engineer named Bruce Morgan Holt, has been kidnapped by a Peruvian separatist group called the People's Voice. Their suspected leader, Hugo Lacerda, is a hardcore revolutionary preaching information warfare as the only realistic means to achieve revolution in modern society. We need you to get in there and recover or destroy any information Morgan Holt may have been forced to divulge, and if possible, rescue him. As for Lacerda, He's just been bumped onto our target of opportunity list. So if you have a shot, take it. Hostage rescue isn't normally our bag, but Morgan Holt was part of Project Watson, the UN committee that studied Philip Mass's handiwork after Georgia. Some people are worried that this kidnapping is just a cover-up and that Morgan Holt is being interrogated for classified information about the Mass colonels. Fact is that some of the tricks Mass came up with could be used to do a lot of damage. We need to contain that information at all costs. The target area is a lighthouse attached to an abandoned Spanish colonial-era fortification and some nearby structures. We don't have an exact location on Morgan Holt, so you'll have to find him yourself. 
Insertion will be at night by Zodiac onto the beach beneath the fort. Thermal imaging shows that there are some old natural and semi-natural caves under the fort, so you may be able to use those for infiltration. All right, Fisher. The helicopter will drop you a few kilometers offshore in the Zodiac. You'll have one of my Zodiacs and logistical support in and out of the target area. Extraction will be by helicopter from the top of the lighthouse. This place, International, holds the contract with Wright Pritchard Technologies to protect their VIPs in potentially hostile situations. We did a thorough threat evaluation for their project in Peru, and we accepted the VIP detail on Morganhold. The guys who came after him knew what they were doing. This was not a tourist grab. I lost three good men in the snatch, and I'm currently preparing a rescue plan for approval from Morgan Holt's family and Wright Pritchard. This is going to cost this place a lot of money. Gunfire down there, Fisher. Everything all right? It's coming from up ahead, but Lambert. And I think Gorilla. I think Kalashnikov. What do you mean? I've had enough AKs fired at me in my time to tell you that wasn't one. All right. See if there's anything unusual going on with their equipment. And keep us posted. Look, there is some kind of old bridge there. You know, I heard that smugglers used to use these old things. Smugglers? Probably had all sorts of secret patterns that could follow down here. Be a fool. You okay? Where did you go? Didn't anyone ever tell you that spelunking is dangerous? Oh no. You are going to kill me, right? Only if you say the word monkey. Now tell me something I want to know. Uh, ammunition and medical supplies. Check around inside the keep. They have tons of stuff in there. Some of you guys are real helpful. Why do you have to work for the bad guys? You're the American oppressor. You're the bad guy. Are you gonna say monkey? What? No! Then this conversation is over. Please, don't kill me! Please! No signs of anything here. I think you're right about the equipment, Sam. Yeah, they got themselves a little stockpile of high-tech kit here. Try and find out where they got it. See if those crates have SSCC barcodes on them and scan them with your EEV. The SSCC code is lot one of five. See if you can find the other four. I'll do my best.
What's going on? Turn the lights back on. Nice piece. Where'd you get it? Oh, God. I don't know. I really don't know. That's bad news for you, then. Ah! Uh, I tell you if I knew. I swear, please don't kill me. Fine. If you don't know where the guns came from, then tell me something else that's useful. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Morgenholt! Morgenholt! You must be here for him. He's in the room just ahead. I think they're torturing him. Torturing him? <laughs> Thanks for the info. Mm, no problem. Don't you think he's had enough? He's had enough when he can't talk. Talking? Madre de Dios, he hasn't been able to speak for an hour. He could be faking it. Jesus! See, I bet he's faking it. Faking it? His tongue is a lump of coal, his brain is... Enough! Saul, give him more. It's already at the maximum. Get over here! <laughs> Doesn't sound too good down there, Fisher. The sound isn't the problem. You should smell it. You're sure he's dead? Deader than Elvis. All right. Leave the body. We still need to recover any traces of the interrogation. Grim, we'll call you back. Fisher, I said leave the body. We don't have the means to extract him. Just because he's dead doesn't mean I need to leave him here hanging like a piece of meat. Don't get too connected, Fisher. I need you to stay rational. You can spare 30 seconds for some simple dignity. Sam, it's Grim. We need to make sure that whatever Morgan Holt might have told them about Mass's algorithms never leaves this site. Okay. I detected a wireless link coming from the technician who left the room before you entered. So I'll need to recover any data he might have uploaded to their servers. Exactly. From the looks of it, these gorillas have a pretty temporary setup. Seems unlikely they have any kind of alarm system on location. Good. Hi there. You look important. I am loyal. You will get no information from me. Really? Hmm, it looks like you forgot to shave this morning. Let me help you out a bit. Huh? You can't! Hey, what are you doing? Okay, okay. What do you want to know? I'm looking for Lacerda. He's been behaving very badly lately. Well, you're wasting your time, American. He left in a boat an hour ago. He could be anywhere by now. I guess I'll just have to follow him then. Don't worry, he won't slip away. Have a nice swim. I think that confirms it, Fisher. Yeah, 
Seems like Lacerda's long gone. We'll see if we can track him through Echelon. Don't worry about him for now. We'll keep you posted. I don't see anything. Too bad it's overcast. Wow. That's four of the five crates, Sam. Keep your eyes peeled for the last one. Entering the atmosphere. Debris? What are you talking about? Madre de Dios. You didn't hear? The International Space Station. There's been an accident. They've lost radio contact. And they've confirmed that there's major damage. They expect a debris shower sometime this evening. In pride. In reasoning pride, our error lies. All quit their sphere and rush into the sky. Him, the almighty power, hurled him long and flaming from the ethereal sky, who does defy the omnipotent to arm. I, I, and I thought I was a leader. Education is the difference between a revolutionary and a terrorist. Someone moving up. Down! He's injured? Worse. No. Dead? Worse. He's been traded to the Melgar Football Club. Traded? No. Impossible. I will not hear this. I swear, it's the truth. If you are mistaken, I swear on the honor of my sister that I will cut off your head and use it as a bowling ball. It's true. Check the paper. I'm going to kill myself. This lady's broken. Who did that? What do you mean? Who did that? I break on their own, you know?
Why did you torture Morgan Holt? La Celda! He wants algorithms! Some kind of computer algorithm! What does a second-rate communist revolutionary want with a computer algorithm? I don't know! I don't even think La Celda knows! I think someone might have hired us! What makes you think that? I don't know! La Celda! He's been making lots of deals! Something's going on! I don't know what. But you don't know who he's been talking to. No! And you're not much good to me anymore. That server is the one that the tech transferred the interrogation record to. You'll need to access it. Good work, Sam. That wiped whatever information Morgan Holt might have given them. Won't they wonder what happened to it? It was easy enough to make your little intrusion look like a memory allocation error. Don't worry, we give you the best tools. Narcissa. You're not trying to set me up on another blind date, I hope. The Maria Narcissa is a boat. So was the last girl you set me up with. Fisher. Sorry. The Maria Narcissa is a cargo ship owned and operated by Celestinia Inc., a Portuguese shipping company. Registered in the Philippines, cross-Pacific freight contracts. Lots of details missing. Sounds suspicious. Sounds like I'm setting you up for another date after all. Can't wait to meet her. Fisher, your primary objectives are complete. We can extract you whenever you're ready. You'll need to signal for a helicopter pickup from the top of the lighthouse, but make sure the light is out first. Will do. Who were you talking to? What? Who are you? I'm the guy who's going to break your knees if you don't tell me who you were talking to. Oh, God. You... It was Lacerda. 
Hugo La Cerda. Where is he? It's aboard the ship, the Maria Narcisa. Why? Weapons. He's delivering the new weapons to the other cells. If I find out you're lying, I will come back for you. Oh, God, please. The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morgan Holt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Well, maybe Lacerda is a nickel anti loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morgan Holt that we don't want anyone to know. Maria Narcissa is out to sea, so there's no escape. Board her, search her, find out who Lacerda's been dealing with, and then make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth freedom. What Morgan Holt knew about the mass kernels, recursive computation, and weaponized algorithms is akin to what Oppenheimer knew about atoms or what Turing knew about digital computers. Project Watson, the United Nations investigation into the mass kernels, will be remembered for centuries alongside the Manhattan Project as fundamental research that changed the nature of warfare forever. Imagine if Che Guevara had kidnapped and interrogated Oppenheimer in 1959, and you have a pretty accurate parallel of the situation we're in right now. We're going to send the helicopter out about 40 clicks ahead of the Maria Narcissa and leave you in the water on her course. You'll board covertly onto the bow. Search the ship and the holds. Find out what you can about the arms shipments and who Lacerda is dealing with. Satellite imaging shows the Maria Narcissa racks a small launch on the stern. That will be your primary extraction. If things go badly, we might be able to arrange to pluck you out of the sea. We'll keep the Walsh inside a helicopter range of the target vessel at all times. If something goes wrong, we should be able to assist in extraction. If you play it safe, we'll recover you in the ship's launch from open water once you're out of visual range of the ship. Fisher. 
We just pulled up Celestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. signs of anything here. night. Shh. What's the roster? How many men aboard? Total? There is 36 of us, I think. But that's including Lacerda and a couple of mean looking mercenaries he brought with him. Where's Lacerda now? He was just here 20 minutes ago, complaining about his quarters. He said he wanted another room. You won't find La Cerda where there is work to be done. Fisher, it looks like Lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth, paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay.
Good job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. Fisher, those compartments are flooded. You need to activate the emergency bilge pump to drain them. Noisy down here. Oh, my! Makes it easy to sneak up on people. What is this hold? The auxiliary pump is here. There are some flooded compartments. The pump should be able to drain them. Thanks for the information. There should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. Start that pump there or what? I don't know how this stupid thing works. Captain Diego says hurry up or we'll sink. Well, if I do it wrong, we might sink faster. Then don't do it wrong. Easy for you to say. Good job. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading attached to Lacerda's shipments. All right.
I'm betting that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda was operating through a proxy. Who? Mercantile Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. Offshore bankers? Yeah, the cigar chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. a look around this boat? Yeah. Tell me you found the live rounds. Somewhere on the top deck, on the side, and there's a power plant on the stern. Think there is enough for everyone? Yeah, I wouldn't trust them. Sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah. I can smell it. Some kind of gas leak. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. I get the message. I'll be discreet. We don't want to make any sparks. Who, who, who are you? I'm the fire inspector, and I'm worried that you or one of your stupid friends might try and squeeze a shot off in here. Why? Can't you smell the gas? But, but I didn't think it was dangerous. Imagine you needed to stow your ammo to prevent any accidents. Where would you put it? Uh, uh the men bunk up port side. Uh, just. Turn left out the back of the engine room. They've got a crate full of new guns back there. Maybe some other stuff too. I'm not sure. I am gonna look into this. Did I hear something?
What the hell? Sam, you're near the ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. Hey, did Lacerda pass through here? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, complaining about the ledgers. Bastard. I hope someone cuts his throat. Lacerda is not a man to trifle with. I'm not going to trifle with him. I'm hoping someone else will do it. That someone would experience painful death at Lacerda's hands. Mm-hmm. Where is Lacerda now? I don't know, and I don't want to know. This light's broken. Who's that? Come out! I can hear you! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Not a trace. What are you doing here? I would ask you the same. I have a knife. You go first. Right. Uh, I'm supposed to patrol around the office and the infirmary. What else is on this deck? Nothing. One deck up is the galley and the cafeteria. Below us is the engine room. I don't know more. It's my second day aboard. The transit ledgers are forged. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugarcane and coconuts from a man named Nikaryakov in Malaysia. Nikaryakov? I remember that name. Nikaryakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arms shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? See me, Capitan. Make your heading 88 degrees, six minutes. Maintain speed. Si, senor. Scopes are clear? Si, senor. Gracias. Here you have a special passenger tonight. What? That? Oh, who? I'm the guy who's here to cash the checks Lacerda's been writing. Where is he? That son of a... He was provoking my men, so I gave him my own cabin to shut him up. That's very kind of you. Be careful. He brought some personal bodyguards. They look dangerous. I'm not afraid of Lacerda's thugs. No, they're not Peruvian. They're Europeans, I think. Bros. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure is all mine. So Lucera is holed up in the captain's quarters. Where's that? Third deck, port side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck.
Never, never in my life have I been so insulted. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past the inspection. You think it's easy to get through the canal zone with, with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No, but this insult forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No, this big shot, this vice president, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros. Ha! I'll show him. Fine. Mark my words. I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, or my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. I need another drink. Let me see. Now we'll... Shh. Don't make a scene. <gasps> Madre de Dios. Not exactly. But if it makes you feel better to pray... Please don't kill me! Please let me go. I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? Morgan Holt, your goons tortured him to death and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no! It's not my fault! The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order and now you're gonna die for it. Please! First, Tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... I don't know. I swear! I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. I'm a coward. Please! Good job, Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that Lacerda is no longer a threat. Your primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. Now, almost 48 hours into the blackout, state governments in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania have authorized to put of keep the peace as tensions and hysteria rise. With still no word from the North Korean government, China's Long Dan again urged all sides to come to the bar. We have now a late response by Admiral Toshiro Otomo of the Japanese ISDF. Despite the ambassador's efforts, nothing has changed. The Japanese people must continue to endure harassment and humiliation. We eagerly anticipate the arrival of the Hey, hey, you're leaving us. Heading back for Panama. Hate to eat and run, sir. We have a few loose ends to tie off before we can rejoin. Well, you can make it back for the 4th of July. I'll show you one heck of a good time, boy. Wouldn't miss it for the world.
Fisher. The arms that Lacerda had were purchased by someone using a Panamanian offshore bank as proxy. I want to take a peek inside their records. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. This op can't look like a U.S. intelligence gig, so to cover it up, you'll need to crack the bank's vault and lift some bearer bonds. Property of the French government. I hit the bank's servers last night, but I didn't find much. All their workstations run drivers for plug-and-play hard drives. I'm guessing they secure them physically every night. Crazy world we live in where electronic intrusion is more of a threat than physical intrusion. Anyway, they probably store the drives in the main vault, meaning they're not going to be easy to get a hold of. First, the good news. You've been in this bank before. You were part of a CIA raiding team that went in in 89 looking for some of Noriega's drug money. Most of the intelligence we have on the bank actually comes from your team. The bad news is that we have a lot of physical security. Lasers, motion sensors, locked doors, cameras, the whole lot. And none of it was there in 89. We've also contacted a, a specialist to help crack the vault. You better talk to him. Look, I don't know who you are or why I'm helping you, other than it's better than staring at the ceiling of Marcel. I hear you have to face some Mason Wells 88. Well, it ain't a one-man job, but they tell me you can do the work of five men. Fine, I says. I had your mate Willie make a little deposit for you. You'll be needing some things from a safety deposit box in the little vault that we can use to crack the main one. We'll continue on our course for the Yellow Sea and send you back by helicopter to Panama City. I have no authorization to act inside Panamanian borders, so you'll be operating covertly out of the embassy. You and your partner will be on your own in Panama. Hey, Emilio. Did you see these new motion sensing lights? No. What do they do? When they detect movement, the light turns on. That's... that's amazing. Like magic. I think I'm going to get one of those from my garage. Imagine that you pull up in your car at night, and the driveway lights up automatically. Ha! <laughs> You're crazy. This is high-tech stuff, Emilio. It probably costs thousands of dollars. Probably my good name. Fisher, I just synced your offset with intelligence on the bank that you and your team gathered back in '89. Ah, uh, the memories. Yeah, judging from your report, sounds like it was quite a vacation. It was actually. I spent most of the rest of that year sleeping in a ditch on the road between Baghdad and Kuwait. Oh, well, if it's any consolation, I had a bad year that year, too. What? You weren't working for the government during the Gulf War? No. I was in 10th grade. Oh, right. Yuck. Fisher, I've got a copy of a work order here that the bank filed with their insurance company. It says the dome windows over the lobby are magnetically locked. See if you can find a breaker or junction box up here and power down the locks. Right.
Good work, Sam. That shut down the magnetic locks on the windows. Hey, wait a minute. Power spike. The lobby. It looks like a laser grid just came online. Lasers? Lasers are so... 90s? I was gonna say 70s. Can you please stop making me feel old? Got bad news for you, Sam. You are old. Fisher, here's our advisor. He'll walk you through the steps that'll get you into that vault. Be patient with him. Oh, he's one of those. Right. Hello? Is this thing on, then? It's on. I'm here. Have you been briefed? Whatever. Listen, this is a Mason Wells 88. Each one is unique. You want to get a butcher's up this girl's skirt. First thing you need to do is authorize an opening. How do I do that? The bank president and the treasurer. Rodrigo sings while he's going to the bathroom? Nothing here. I'm not Tahoe. I... who... oh! Oh no! Stay calm. Tell me something interesting. The... security cameras. The system is centralized. There's a main camera room. You... you can access the cameras from there. Where? Second floor! I told you about the camera room.
booty does. Turn those back on. Who's that? Are you trying to creep up on me? Looks like more lasers ahead, Sam. This whole place is singing with photons. There's a guard who seems to be walking around here, no problem. Maybe he has some kind of beacon. Get close and you can stay in his electronic shadow. I was just thinking something. What's that? Did you ever notice that this bank doesn't have any bank machines? Of course. Why do you think that is? Because they don't want people to hack the bank machines. Hack a bank machine? Whoever heard of that? It's not the realism that's the problem. It's just that it introduces a whole resource economy that we don't want to deal with. I see your point. That's a neat trick you do with the lasers. Okay? What? Oh, the grids. They detect some kind of signal emitted by a transmitter stitched into my uniform. Give me the transmitter. I don't know where it is. I swear. It's just stitched into my uniform somewhere. Hmm. That's bad news for you. Because I still need to get past the lasers. And since I don't want to undress you, that means I have to take your body. My body? You... you mean my unconscious body? I hope... Either way works for me.
back to security authorization. Two more to go. Hearing things. See, I'm not good. Let's just stay calm. There's nothing! Nothing. Look, let's just forget it happened. Thank God, there's nothing. Drop your weapon! Let him go! I'll kick ah. your ass! Fisher, watch. Shh. Oh, oh, God. No. Are there any other ways in or out of this room that you might want to tell me about? Birds? What do you mean, birds? The vents above the fan. I think they lead outside. I can hear birds nesting in them. Well, that is useful information. Does that mean I get to leave? Let me think about it. Back to security authorization. Two more to go.
That's clue down. Now just authorize from the Treasurer's office. I don't know who you are, but this is private property. What are you talking about? I've been working here for two years. Prove it. Prove it? Uh, okay. Well, the key code to the back doors, it... Hey, wait a minute. You're trying to trick me. You're the one who's not supposed to be here. All right. You caught me. I surrender. Oh, wait. Instead, how about you tell me the key code anyway, and I won't be forced to hurt you? Oh, well... Since you put it that way, the code is 3901. Thanks. Nothing. What the hell are we gonna do now? Well, don't look at me. I don't know. I'm telling you, it was a rat. No chance. Shit, it was way too big on? to be a rat. Maybe it was a monkey. Or, or a bear. Ha! A bear. You're crazy. I know that bent is pretty big. But bears are huge. And a bear will have destroyed the treacherous office anyway. Well, maybe it was a little bear. You know, one of those cute ones. We don't even have bears in Panama. Maybe it escaped from the zoo. You're an imbecile. It was too big. Did you hear that? Oh, crap. What do we do? I... Seriously, something's no right. Just calm down, okay? We'll be all right. I don't know. I think we're in big trouble. You still there? What's up? Please say there is nothing. Hey, I hear that. Back off.
I wanna go home. Nice try, senor. We see how smart you really are. Man, this is bad. Give me some room. I'm going to bust this open. Come out here. Stop hiding. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Hello, Paco. Oh no! Hey, Robert! Please! Don't hurt Paco! Tell me the key code. This door is broken! And Paco cannot fix it! I, I got to call the security company to come and have a look! Is there another way in? Maybe if you're a mouse. <laughs> you want Paco to call the security company for you? No, that's alright. I'll find another way in. This... Things break all the time.
That's a relief. Our installer seems to be compatible with their local OS. That's it? Just plug and play? That's the idea. No fuss. Get all eight of those forged mails uploaded. Make the robbery look like an inside job. Exactly. Are you okay? Come on, we can settle these like men.
That's half of the forged mail, Sam. Four more to go. Thanks. I've always found it hard to count past three. No need to be smarmy, Sam.
Next. Good thinking, Fisher. Now, even if you're caught on camera, they won't be able to ID you.
Right, that's authorization done. The outer cage to the vault should be opening as we speak. Great. Just inside the cage, there's a small vault full of safety boxes. You may dropped off some kit for you in one of them. All right, I'll let you in know sports, when I'm there. In sports, pitcher Akira Watanabe arrived in New York yesterday for his first practice with his new team. After a full day of evaluations, head pitching coach Matthew Furland stated that Watanabe was, quote, easily the best baseball pitcher ever. Great work, Fisher. One more forged mail and we're covered. Doing my best. Oh no, Zerkezi. That's exactly what I didn't want to see. Zerkezi? Is that some kind of dried meat? He's probably the best computational theorist in the world. He worked with Morgan Holt on Project Watson. Word is, he's gone off his nut. Sounds like bad guy material to me. Sam, it's Will. Turtle said one of these boxes had some equipment in it. Chest level, right hand side, number 1024. Careful with that gear. What is all this stuff? It charges it for the vault, and the other thing of me, Bob, is a telemetric lockpick. A telemetric lockpick? Head down to the main vault. We'll walk you through it there. All right, next you need to pop both of these locks at the same time. That's what the telemetric pick is for. Exactly. It reads your movements in one lock and mimics them in the other lock, real time. You guys use some cool toys. Right. Now once you get the feel for each pin, you have to wait a second for the telemetric pick to sync up. Once it beats, Bob's your uncle, you can pick the pin and move to the next one. Don't try and pick a pin before you're in sync, or you'll have to restart. Right. over the main pins. Once they're all in place, well, I'm sure you can figure it out. And open sesame. Lambert, we're in. Great work. Sam, get in there and find those hard drives.
Echelon doesn't have a file on him. Wait. That's weird. What? The deleted messages. They're 512 encrypted. I haven't seen 512 since Philip Mack. I killed Mass outside several marks. I remember. And it's confirmed. So this is someone with access to some seriously classified information. Sir Casey? That's a frightening possibility. Great work, Fisher. Now any investigation into the robbery will only point back at the investigators. So the Panamanian government will end up sending some innocent banker to prison? Innocent, if you don't count providing arms to revolutionaries. Oh, right, I forgot. Bankers. Evil. Good job, Fisher. Now the whole mission will look like a robbery. They'll never know why we were here. Lambert. Now that I'm holding 50 million bucks, I think we need to talk about that raise again. Hmm. 25 cents an hour and not a penny more. Deal. Oops. Damn! What happened? Lasers inside the vault door. The whole bank is alert. Army incoming. Bugger this. I'm out. Cut the chatter, people. Nothing we can do about it now. Fisher, grab that data and get out of there. You got it. All right, Fisher, that's all we need. Time to make yourself scarce. Go to the nearest extraction point. On my way.